Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and finally after a lot of back and forth I've managed to get myself a U Eureka review unit. So uh, in this video let's go ahead unbox this and get some hands on uh, hands on time with this device. So this is the box that it comes in. Yes, somebody has used this before me. So uh, it's not a fresh box here. So anyway, there's a quick little list of specs to the back. Qualcomm Snapdragon 615, that's an octa-core chip, 64-bit capable, uh, Cortex-A53 cores, two clusters, 1.5 gigahertz for four and uh, one gigahertz for the other. Adreno 405 GPU, 5.5 inch, uh, 720p IPS display with Gorilla Glass 3 on top, 16 gigs internal storage, two gigs of RAM, uh, 13 megapixel, 5 megapixel camera combination, 4G LTE, 2500 milliamp hour battery, and most important, Sanogen mod on board. So anyway, let's go ahead, open it up, and inside we've got the Eureka. This is a rebranded uh, Copad F2 4G, by the way, for those of you wondering. So U is a Micromax spin-off, and uh, just like with Micromax, they've been they are sourcing some phones from the Chinese OEMs, rebranding them. Nothing, nothing wrong with rebranding. Just letting you guys know. Here's a pair of uh, in-ear headphones, so earphones rather. Let me open it. So again, here they are. I've actually seen a few in a few videos that these come with U branding. So maybe review units do not have that. Just letting you guys know. Anyway, nice to see that earphones have been included. Uh, and here we have the wall adapter, micro USB cable. This is the one amp wall adapter, by the way. So here's the Eureka. So to the front, we've got the 5.5 inch HD display. Uh, all right, first, let me actually open up the back. The battery is already popped in because uh, like I said, someone else has used this before me. So uh, if you're buying a retail unit, you should be getting the battery separately. Anyway, micro SD card slot, SIM, sl uh, SIM slot one, SIM slot two. Uh, 13 megapixel rear camera, LED flash, uh, secondary noise cancelling microphone, and the speaker down below. So, popping the back panel bar, I mean, on. It's a little soft. That's how it feels. Anyway, to the front earpiece, a 5 megapixel front camera, 5.5 inch HD display, capacitive keys at the bottom, volume rockers to the left. Uh, micro USB cable, primary microphone, I mean micro USB port, I'm sorry, uh, primary microphone to the bottom, uh, the power button to the right, 3.5 mm headphone jack to the top. So let's go ahead, turn this on. All right, low battery. Of course it has low battery. All right, guys, I'll be back with you in a couple. So I went ahead, plugged this phone in, got about 8% charge on it right now. So let's... Uh, run through setup, I'll set up my Google account in a bit. So, all right, next. Just like with the OnePlus One, we seem to have the options of switching between uh, on-screen and uh, capacitive keys. There's also the U theme and the normal stock Sanogen theme. So let's see the U theme. Next, next, finish. So there you go, we're up. So that's the U Eureka with Sanogen on it. Quickly going into settings, just to show you guys, it's running on Android 4.4.4, Get Cat, and that's Sanogen mod 11. So Sanogen has already promised that uh, Sanogen mod 12 will be coming to this device soon. It's in the works, so that's something for us to look forward to. Here we have the lock screen settings, the custom lock screen. So this is kind of similar to what we've seen with uh, the OnePlus One. Or we also have the regular lock screen with a bunch of shortcuts. So these are all customizable. 
So if you've used Cyanogen Mod in the past, you should be familiar with it. Even if not, it's pretty similar to stock Android as well. So that's that. What else? Here's the app draw. We've got only very few apps preloaded. We've got the regular Cyanogen apps here, the Google apps, and then the Cyanogen gallery, Cyanogen camera, audio effects, NFM radio. And we also have a universe app whatever that is anyway the, there's also a theme engine built in again need to create a uh, u account i'll do that later um going into settings here's the themes option here so we can switch between both or shop for themes again that brings us back to this page so not going to do that right now Recent, okay, that's the menu key. Weird. Okay, it's got a menu key here, but from settings, if we end up switching to uh, buttons and switching to the on-screen navigation bar, we get the recent apps key. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, crank up the brightness all the way. Seems to be a pretty bright display. Viewing angles are also okay. So guys, even with the battery inside, the phone does feel pretty light. So let's see. Weighs in at around 150 grams, which is pretty light for a phone with a 5.5 inch display. So good work. Uh, kudos to Coolpad. Um, so yeah feels snappy enough for now i'm going to be spending some time with it all right you know let's quickly take a look at the camera app as well so let me pull in something what do i have here so here's my note edge shutter speed seems fast and uh, again a familiar interface if you've ever ever seen uh, a video about if you've ever used a OnePlus One or if, you, or if you've seen a video about the OnePlus One, it's, we've seen this before, the Sanogen camera app. So, and this is the friend facing five megapixel camera. Hey guys. So anywho, um, what else? Initial impressions, the phone feels fast enough. Battery life is something I'm a little curious to see how it turns out. So guys, uh, I, I did take a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a break a little while back. And I was in Goa with a couple of friends and one of those, one of, one of my friends is also in the tech industry and uh, he had a Eureka review unit. So uh, heating was an issue that he was talking about. Battery life was another that he mentioned. So these are two things that i will be looking into uh, uh i will be spending some time with this device before i come out of the full uh full review so uh that being said as of now i guess that's pretty much it for this quick little unboxing and hands-on video hope you guys liked it hope you found it useful uh, if you did please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this do stay subscribed so the Eureka is an Amazon exclusive. It's insanely, it's been insanely hard the last two uh, flash sales to buy this device. I've tried, uh, no success. And I'm a guy who has been able to get the Xiaomi devices uh, or even uh, the Lenovo A6000 yesterday that went on sale via Flipkart. But for some reason, Amazon's had a lot of issues, including price issues and whatnot. So anyway, if you do want to pick one up, you can try your luck over at amazon.nl. I'll leave a direct link in the description down below. If you guys do want, if you're watching this from a market where, as in if you're watching it from anywhere but India, and you want to get a Coolpad F2 4G, that's the device that this phone is based on, or rather that this is a rebranded version of that device just with Sanogen Mod on board instead. I'll leave a, link where, leave a link to where you can get a Coolpad F2 4G from in the description as well. So I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.